Hey, Kim, how you doing? No, good. How you doing? Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, man, starting over. You know, it's, it's so common now in college football with guys switching schools mid or later in their careers. But what's it like? What's it like for you, kind of getting a fresh start at a new school? You know, it feels good. You know, coming into this um, transfer portal process, I knew Florida State was a great program, and it could help me help me excel more as a, more than a football player and a person off the field. You know, it's a great staff here. Coach Novell leads the program in a very positive way. See good things all the time on and off the field. So you know, it was a no-brainer coming from out of the portal when choosing Florida State. So you played both inside and outside yes, sir. at Auburn yes, and sir. as an edge rusher. Uh, what, what, what are you looking forward to coming here in terms of where you'll play? Uh, coming here, you know, I'm looking forward to you know, playing you know, inside linebacker. You know, that's really what I've played the majority of my you know, collegiate career. So, you know, coming here, you know, fitting into the great defensive scheme here that Coach Fuller has. You know, he has the inside backers, you know, bouncing, you know, in, inside and outside, depending on the package we're in. So, you know, you know, just complementing my style, my game style of um, bouncing from inside to outside, but primarily inside. Though. Cam, what do you like about this FSU defense in general after the success they had last year? Um, what is it? What do you think is the expectation going to this year with this defense, with the group of guys you're going to um, Yeah, w watching the defense from last year, I've seen a lot of great mm -hmm. stuff, you know, on film. You know, Coach Fuller's defense is very aggressive, and, you know, that's something I like doing, you know. I like being, a, being an aggressive defense where I can, like, make negative plays in the backfield. So, you know, just watching them from last year and, you know, going into this year, I expect them great things out of this defense. Jerry? On last year's defense, you have – DJ Lundy at one position. On the other side, you had Kalen, Kalen Deloge, uh, who played more in space. Have they talked to you about which of those you'll play? Will they try you at both? Or? Uh, really at both, really. You know, at a, you know, in the midst of a play, you don't know which side you're going to end up on. So not really just dialing in on which, you know, side you'll play, but, you know, really just, you know, getting the midst of, you know, having feels of both sides, the field and the boundary. But, you know. I know one of the challenges um, at your previous school on defense was you guys had a lot of changes and schemes and, and, and coaching staffs. Um, do you think, was there a benefit to that, just kind of learning a lot of different schemes, and, and how would that help you here? Yes, yeah, so I felt like that was a great thing, you know, going, you know, within my collegiate career. You know, I had a new defensive coordinator four years straight for the four years I was in college. So, you know, I kind of feel like that complements my um, knowledge of football, you know, from going from Auburn to um, transferring to Florida State, you know, making that adjustment to learning something new every year. So I feel like that should help out, help me out in the long run, you know, with here and then, career in the next level as well. Cam, did, did you ever make it up to Raleigh? And, and kind of what, for you, changed maybe between January and, and early this summer to, to want to make another change? I went up and I just did a lot of, you know, a deep dive into the process. So, you know, you know, when you play football and you get them to, to your – you know, find a couple of years in college, you kind of like, kind of think towards like which school is like more fit for you and where you can see yourself being more productive in the defense. And, you know, I, I watch the defenses, you know, both of them great, very great defense, you know, in state runs a good defense and Florida State does as well. But I kind of watched a lot of film and I felt like, you know, I'd be more productive in this defense. Did you, uh, who did you talk to during the process in terms of like, did you talk to any of the current players here um, about what it's like here, and, you know, as you were making your decision? Well, I came down in January for an unofficial. Um, you guys may know Key Andre Jones. He played in, Auburn. we played in Auburn together for two years. So, you know, really just, you know, going through the process with, process with him, you know, talking with him day in and day out about things down here. And he told me how good of a program it was and, you know, the people around the program and things like that. So just coming down, you know, seeing it for myself, you know, did nothing but put the icing on the cake. So, but him and I talked to DJ maybe a couple of times as well. DJ Lundy. So. You know, Cam, I think a, a lot of people, when they think of linebacker, they still think of like old school throwback guys, like a, like a Mike Singletary or something from back in the day. Just with the way offenses in college football have kind of evolved, 
I mean, what is the role of, of a linebacker, you think, to, to make a de defense productive? And, and what is it about maybe the, the scheme that Florida State runs or what you do that's going to make it work? Well, yeah, you know, every, everyone knows like the game of football has changed, like you said, in the last, you know, decade or years or something like that. But, you know, I feel like the biggest thing on the linebacker in this day, day and age is, you know, being able to play in space. You know, you see more of, I could say, more of a passing game. You know, you still got the run because it's football. But, you know, just being able to play in space and, you know, being able to, you know, being versatile in your game, we're playing to the field and the boundary. So just being able to play in space and, you know, play fast because the tempo is very fast now as well. Hey, Kevin, I'm just following up on that. A big part of being a linebacker is also being a leader on the field. Can you just talk about your leadership style and the type of veteran presence you can bring to this defense? Yeah, you know, just being vocal, that's the biggest thing for a linebacker, being able to communicate and line the, um, D line up in front of you because that's the one who's going to help you make the plays, you know. You don't want a lineman coming up, on you as, you're coming up on you as fast. So, you know, just being out there and being able to communicate, you know, you know, don't know which stadium you'll be in, um, I, well, how loud the stadium will be in. Um, well, I'll take that back. We'll be on defense, so we won't really – oh, yeah, I'm sorry. We'll be on defense, so of course it's going to be live for their, the opposing offense. So, you know, just being out there and being able to, you know, communicate the D-line and the calls, you know, someone may not get the call, so just being able to communi communicate it across the field so everyone can be on the same page. So. I don't know if it's because of the changes in D.C.s, or, but, you know, you kind of had times where you were starters, times when you were not a starter at Auburn. How did you grow during that process? How did you handle – Kind of that, the ups and downs of that? Um, you know, just, you know, fighting adversity. You know, things will be different for you, you know, each year, you know, from the situation I had. But, you know, just going through adversity. And just, you know, keeping God first and keeping the main thing the main thing, trying to work day in and day out and, you know, not just giving up on yourself. So. The staff's kind of developed a reputation of being able to bring in guys that had good careers elsewhere, but then in one year kind of seemingly making them great players. I mean, how much of the, the past kind of reputation of their development played a role into your decision making? Yeah, so that's one thing that has stuck out me throughout the process. You know, I see, I have seen what they can do with, you know, players from any school across the, you know, across the country, you know, bring them in in Florida State and like you said, bring them in for one year and, and having them turn into good players and great players and within a year or less. But, you know, that was very big in my, you know, recruiting process as well. You know, I feel like Florida State was a great place who could develop, you know, someone like me in the time span of what I have, so. You were obviously busy on Saturdays, but were you paying attention? Did you, were you noticing that Florida State was kind of turning things around these last couple of years? Yeah, yes, sir, I was. You know, I actually watched um, the first game against LSU, and, and after I watched that first game, I knew that it was going to be a great season for Florida State. Um, but once it got towards like the middle of the season, around seven, six or seven, I was like, eh, Florida State seven and no. I think I was talking to someone, and then that's when they, you know everything kind of picked up from there, and then they ended up, you know, finishing the regular season with an undefeated season. So, yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Right. Thank you.